The A models have two lighting modes. The first one is just on, and the second one is a sound activated mode. The B model only has one mode, a sound activated mode. You can see the difference in how the B model and the A model's sound activated modes work, whereas the entire panel lights up all together with sound, or it lights up in separate segments. The stock model and the tiny hub both have a sound activated mode which uses all of the five segments. The tiny hub is just slightly brighter than the stock version. The stock electronics and the tiny hub each have the same six lighting modes. That's one sound activated mode and then five different flashing ones. If you're looking for the absolute brightest product available, you're going to want to go for one of the A models. If you're more interested in a dynamic sound activated mode, then you'll go for one of the B models. The tiny hub, the hub, and the 60 watt power bank take USB-C for power, but they also output a USB-A and a USB-C port, so you don't have to worry about running out of ports when you're using your sticker light with your laptop while you're DJing. The 20 watt power bank has a USB-C port that functions both as an input and an output, so you can use this C port to charge it as well as to charge other devices. With the exception of the stock module and the tiny hub, all of the new devices have adjustable brightness which you can control with a knob, usually located on the top. They also all feature adjustable microphone sensitivity, so you can adjust the behavior of the driver depending on the loudness of the environment that you're in.